Okay, okay, now let's talk to the uh, comp dumpster downstairs. <coughs> Come back. This is the slowest I've ever been. Right. I've ever been. It's boring. Hey, Ash. We have a minute to talk. Oh. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, later on. That was the desk. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? Why? Because they're not, I don't know, in uniform, part of the Alliance, maybe? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. Uh-huh, yes. We should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Here we go. Here comes the racist bitch. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Mm hmm. Sure, to an extent, but go on. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. She never had a dog. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them. <laughs> it's not racism. Of course, that's what every racist would say. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great grandmother, they uh, picked up a rifle. I don't know, Ash. I, I, I you pretty much described yourself right there. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? <laughs> that would end, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. Hey, just like that, she's a phone killer. Looking forward to it, sir. That's how shabby Uncle Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. I don't really care, Rex. Suit yourself. <laughs> I mean the best. It won't be long. <laughs> I could tell us. I mean to bet. Why didn't you tell me this? Don't show me, not me. I'm sorry, Uncle Rex. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. 
couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. Now oh, let's talk to the love of my life. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna level up. No, she's depressed. She needs a hug. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of... No, she needs a hug. The, place. the Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Come here, Telly, you need a hug. I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Okay, now we go to the um Galaxy Map. this elevator eventually uh. all right first we're gonna do a quick cut to the citadel in three two one and fade in and whoosh we're right back the power of editing eh. let me out is ashore exo presley has the deck oh Hello. Ten hut. At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. 
I do begrudge this over-designed piece. Hey, 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 she ain't no design. She's a nice, beautiful lady who may have been overcompensating, but don't sell my ship. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. All right, fine. <laughs> show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. And when I come to the Citadel, Commander, I cannot. Not happy. Oh, but schools me. Sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? Wow, 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 wow. Hey. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Eh. Oh. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Yes. Screw you. A Solarian we go. excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the okay, now, the Hanar now the pseudo, I'm gonna do some stuff in there. The then we go on to the main mission. To Hanar representatives on the Citadel to uh, first, I want to skip this elevator right. Thank you, sir. And then you're right. Commander Shepard? Khalif yes. has been seen in Aljalani, Western Lynn News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Hmm. What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique... Let's be weird professionals here, right? I mean, journalism now is not so good, not so prestigious back in the day, but let's give it a chance. Let's give it a try. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Well, have you encountered any situations them to where the Citadel asks to join them by enemy. its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Okay, I don't like where this is going. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over!
A phone that could work in real life. Just saying. So I just remember something since the last time I was on the studio. That uh, we picked up uh, some files from. Uh... What? Oh, okay. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, some some data files from this uh, cl uh bar office. And we're gonna give it to this uh journalist Emily Wong. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me. Oh no. Rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? Okay, I don't like this gun. I feel you're gonna Photoshop me. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. You know, I'm so keep telling that I just want to go back to outer space. Okay, now let's go to the next um, objective on the galaxy map. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Oop, a squeeze me, but she had it coming. Just saying. Let's go to Novervia, the best place you want to spend in the summer, and trust me, and I do mean that, every word of it, the best place to spend in the hottest of summers. Warp speed. Area, and then we land. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> Very 
anything now. We go outside. So I'm going to take a balanced team. I'm going to take the biotic and uh, somebody with uh, tech powers. Tech skills, not tech powers. So. Biotic, check. Oh, <laughs> perfectly balanced. And now we do stuff. And by stuff, I mean evil stuff. And by evil stuff, I mean save the world. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Mm, squad, let me see if she can, yep, she can be level, level up. It's Tally. Wait, can I change the uh, Kelly's uh, outfit? <gasps> Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hmm. It's a nice place. What the fuck is that over there? I've actually never seen that before. Anyways, probably not not done. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. Oi, squeeze me. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Nope. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Doing a good job there, hey buddy? Alright, let's go. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. Oh, sure, until she steps in the back. Of new arrivals. Do you have I any think. questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay. Understood. Can we go in now? Got it. So I'll have to be a uh, Karen to talk to the manager. Got it. Office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. I just noticed how big her eyes are. Like, God damn. Oh, look! Elevator, the sequel! Part 2. Scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, it's not as how damn big the Kelly tips are compared to Liara. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. You know, it, 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 it go talk to the manager. Hmm. 
How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Ish. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. Vagabonds? You have a problem with spacers? With any transient population. Unreliable consumer bases. Tax dodgers, probably. I had no idea we were so troubling to your bottom line. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Business oh, courtesy! To avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Ouch. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Okay. I'd like to see her immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. I have no more questions at this time. Always the wise one, Tally. Oh, jeez, you're taking that security... Hmm. I don't like to have the thing away for... One, I don't... Normally, I would advocate for weapons in every room, but a drone with a gun and a rocket launcher? Yeah, that's a big no for me. That's, an outboard, that's a big no for me, dog. I play Black Ops 2. Isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Oh? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Alright, let's not, uh... be lollygagging around. Let's, uh, start on the mission right away. Okay, he's at the hotel? Oh, he's at... Skip, skip, skippity-boop. More guards. It's cold outside and it's during the summer. Jeez, can you imagine if it's winter? Or spring! Yes, woman in the yellow dress. The hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with nope. him. Nope. Whatever you need done, ask someone else. I'm busy. My mistake, obviously. <laughs> Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Here? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. 
How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Hmm. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. I'm in. Have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? I never heard that one, but okay. Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. Mm -hmm. He's paying him under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? <laughs> All right. So in theory, there are more ways to more ways than one to get the pass. But I'm just going the easiest road I, that I know. I tried the other ways, but it's too long as hell, and I'll, I'm already been dragging on as it is. So let's start with um, the way I know. So first, we're gonna clean out the goons on his office. No, but we're not. I mean, uh, I forgot. I, I forgot. We we're gonna pick up something from his office and then yeah. I swear, the Legendary Edition is really good. They actually fixed Mass Effect 1. Like, holy shit, and the PS3 version was almost unplayable. I think the first one might be my favorite more than the second one, which that was my favorite. Anyways. More than related. Hanshan Security, this office is sealed. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Jeez, that is one way how to sleep. Actually, I knew a friend who can sleep like that. Alright. And I'm gonna fire. Oh shit. I just tapped you in the head. What the hell is that? I think we've all done that position where we're stretching when we're tired. Just saying. Okay. How average is it? There we go. No, that was so hard. Okay, now we got stuff, the stuff off his computer. Now we get the fuck out of here. Hey, Liara. I oh, hello. To be in here, Shepherd. You have me at a disadvantage, Miss. 
Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas with three. Eh, she's more like a Karen, but here. details. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to. No, 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 Come back here! <laughs> Dumb bitch. Fuck! I died. Uh, I love the rat fix in this game. Can I shoot from here? No. I don't think you're. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Analeas. You are here. I'm um, just gonna skip the lock and chicken fly. <laughs> oh, I forgot I can regenerate my shield. I'm an idiot. Sit down, woman. Kelly, is you asleep? Oh, I'm gonna die. What's this? I've never been here before. More weapons. There you go. Yeah, he's not the first. So, um, have you all heard about the news up of Le Le LeBron? Kelly? No? Okay. Nobody cares. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting.
Okay. Hey, I have a feeling that she she is now she's saying she is, which I don't know what she's saying, but she's saying something that therefore she must be saying something that she is saying that she's now she's saying. <sighs> Talk about a tongue twister. And do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets. Yeah, like my ex. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Noveria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Fair enough. It is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Okay, but first I'm gonna see if my speech is all the way up. Okay. There you go. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Do it! Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. And now we go to uh, Analea's office. Oh, I just noticed that Teddy has two toes. <laughs> well, that was a random ass uh, comment. Someone murdered our people in the synthetic insights office. Hmm. I wonder. Eh, hey, corporate offices give me the shelf. Give me the key. No. Any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. Hmm. <laughs> Shepard, I demand you place this bitch under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. I don't drink beer. Okay, now it's gonna be a long ass uh, power run from here to the garage. Honestly, this, honestly, this place looks horrible. I was expecting fancy to be a corporate company or something. Anyways, hmm. 
access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Oh, please. I went through worse. Have it been a sandstorm? Hmm? And cutscene. Oh, I hate those fuckers. Whoa, he's he's running at me. I'll knock you down. There, I cleaned up for you. Wow, you guys didn't do squad. Take a grenade. All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Out. <laughs> oh, you. I forgot how you reverse. There we go. Oh wow! How weird. Everything went black. All of a sudden, here I am. It's a shame that just get the long ass ride. Oh well, things happen for a reason. Oh look, a room full of guests. Whoa. The hell is in here? Again? <sighs> Welcome. Crokin's a cop. All peak fifteen facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the react. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out.
Hello. More elevator. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. Take cover. Oh fuck. He flew! More belly. Am I even hitting him? Shrimps. All those years of consumed shrimps, I knew they would attack back. I just been ignorant. Ew. Okay, I didn't read that. I should have read that, but anyways, I got to kill this Ragnar. Oh fuck me! Away. Am I one over there? Never seen anything like them. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Armor plating is good for now. Hmm? Oh, jeez! Dang! What the fuck? I do not like this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot how amazing the physics are in this game. Nothing happened. I just tripped. Oh, really? Come back over here? Oh, Hmm. 
Okay, so you can upgrade my... Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I did. <gasps> I can wear heavy armor now. No, uh... Oh, Guardian. Damn! Fly, Rack Knife! Fly! Fly like you've never flown before! Deep sleep! Anything like that one. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. That's the last of them. Oops. There's a poop there, but the poop is gone now. The appeal of winter wears thin. Not enough pity, Joe, eh? Hmm. No, uh, I'm gonna enjoy that one. Joke's on you, I have enough now. Hey, <laughs> hey. Go ahead. Let me go back down. Okay, so this mini game but that I do not understand. Yeah, I do understand, so I'm just gonna use the medi gel. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Shit! How do I shut this thing up? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. 
Do you have an additional system stack? Nope, bye. That's all I need right now. Very well. So basically, Commander. fix this, fix that, and boom, bada bing, bada boom. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Damn it, manual. Why don't you restart it? Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Now entering main react. I'm wearing an environmental suit and I'm still freezing. I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. Why is my radar jam? Oh, hello there. I lost the like balls. The Jesus Christ destroyer. Emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. It ascended into godhood. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are off. Flap. <laughs> I died during the disco. Those stairs are mean User close range. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. The worst part is they come running towards you, so that seems scarier. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Alert. Main reactor shut down. Emergency with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Oh, I hate these. Trams are offline. Hello, where you come from? I didn't get to read that. I should have. Oh, hello, the jerk. I jumped up. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alright, let's see what's behind door number two. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Did 
Thank you. Clear. Okay, I thought we have gone where we're supposed to go. I guess no, we haven't gone. Okay. Okay, I thought we were going the right way, but no. I did a boo boo and I must fix that boo boo. User alert. Main reactor shut down in a quarter. Okay, Mira, we get it. You're annoying. Manual restart required. And you leave manual out of this. I'm going to do that. All targets down. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Online. How may I ask? Very well, Commander. Logging you out. And now we go back to the elevator. Nice. More elevator. Okay. User alert. Landline connections. I'm wearing an environmental suit and I'm still freezing. Uh, Chipper, where the fuck you're staring at? Wait, I'm actually curious where the fuck you're staring at. Creepy Chipper. Eyes. Look at them eyes! That's a face a mother would love. Look at that. I can see everything. Very <coughs> Okay, and learn, learn myself, I'm gonna die eventually, so I might as well. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. We get it, woman! More elevator! The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. Why am I looking down on you, Italian or Dippy? The sooner we are all the frozen world, the better. Falling asleep there, Chip? Baby! And I flopped. Thank you, girl, for saving me. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams. I'm gonna take a like like shotgun. <laughs> Damn it, 
Sally, you, you, yo, you tripped again. All patched up. Really, Tally, you're taking a nap. Fucking hate right now. Ah, screw you. Suspicious, 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 suspicious. Now, can we go to the, um, trams? Not another Ragnite! Oh no, what are we gonna do? and transit hub user alert loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber online Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Override. Open the doors now. Very well, Commander. Releasing safeties. Proceed at your discretion. That's all I need right now. Very well. Okay, so we cannot use. Wait, can we? Can I? Uh, can I? Can I? Oh, I don't want to go there. Uh, sure. Victor, thingamabob. Oh. Actually, I need to level with these up. Kelly! Okay, apparently I cannot. I could have killed. I could have died, man. Those explosive babies. They were explosive babies, man. Too far. Okay. We opened the door. Departing Central Station. Destination Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix. <sighs> that was a long ass eight hours of my entire life, I swear. Can I change out of the hours uniform? Mm 
ねHello. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule: two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh? I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. Can take you down to the oh, my elevator. If you need me first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. Take him out. Hey, will you know what you to believe is a lumbagel. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Okay, now we go back to the elevator. Okay, sir, they should call this game. I think I made this joke already, but they should make they should call this game Elevator, the video game. In space, 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 space. So, uh, ship, what are you thinking? Oh, okay, black out. Oh, hello, Yoroslav Tarkovsky. Tar -tar are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait, is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Hill is found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. That must be one mean chicken. Ragnar. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. That is so. Billions of lives lost in that war, on both sides. A thousand year old egg hatch? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix plan to clone Ragnai. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. 
Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Tiara the start. Jesus! He even died lazily! You were too lazy to die! Damn, he was just damn lazy. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Mumble something? Uh, sick simper to. <laughs> <laughs> That is not the correct Wait, isn't that what Please John Will Spooth said after shooting Lincoln head? Activate the neutron bird. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Oh, 120 seconds. Well, I'm getting the puck out of here. Oh no. Nine! I wanna die here! Goodbye, Liara! Hi. I'm Bob. Gh, now we go back to down. I was going up or downstairs. More elevators, I'm telling you. Oh, what the fuck happened here? Sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from <gasps> the bitch. I'm gonna kill you dead. Lara, you're just punching all the bullets. Come on, come on, you chicken. Fuck, 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 fuck. Did I kill you? Oh shit! What the fuck is Liara? Wow, wow, well, wow. Well. Taking a break, are we, Liara? Yay! <laughs> the family got death pose! <laughs> Oh man, that's stupid. Go, go, go. No.
Get him off, he's down! Then I die with a freaking shotgun. That's stupid. Oh, really? I'm going back here again. Alright. Let's do this. One more time, Mr. Pancho. No! <laughs> Come on, Goyos. Hey, Tally, what's up? Excuse me. I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire! <gasps> Bitch! Well, I'm hearing everything but the target. And Liara's dead. Again with the family death pose. And I have no health. I don't have any more mini kill. Where's Liara? I mean, Callie. Wow, oh, she's out there! <laughs> I like how he just flopped, he didn't even like die, just flop like a flaccid penis or something. Hey, Liara. For a second, I thought that was a toilet, but it's just a shit. Ta da! Come here! Come here! Come here! Donk. Yeah, this is a fake year. Well, 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 look who decided to come by. Now is not the time. Whoa, excuse me, Tally. Uh, 
I like how the turn gets get stuck. Coward. Supplies, motherfucker! You guys that down there. There you go. More elevators! Elevators. Elevators. Hmm, what are you thinking about, uh, Liara? Technician speed. Ooh, what do we have here? Do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been... Pit. Uh, fuck, a side commando. Suck on this! down okay fine geez. oh and guess shit That's why you just randomly see a random guest flying in the air. <laughs> Fuck, more guests. What 
that a shark missile? Fuck you, destroyers! Hey, look, fantastic. Filled with his light, everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly. But the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves... Do we believe you guys? Yes? No? Maybe? Hmm? Worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. Millennia past, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Why does Saren need the Mew Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. And still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are up my ear. Fingers Ooh, on that my spine. Sensual you should, erotic. You should, oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara.
die. Sheesh, what a way to destroy your own daughter. <laughs> -la -la. Wait, wait. Oh. Get it, see. Angularity. Overload. I can move. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. They always said there would be a... <sighs> no light, only fire. <laughs> that was a bit dark, to be honest. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Funny, Silva who's not racist. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for, but she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look. Those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. Teddy, how could you? They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. No, I won't kill you. It's not your guys' fault that your parents did horrible mistakes. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Honestly, it wasn't even a hard decision. I mean, it's true. It's parents. 
this all the bad boom was in the galaxy, and these newborns did nothing wrong. You gotta make sure what these things, man. Are those ball sacks? What about a karate kid? And then now we fade out into black in three, two, one. That's not me editing, that's me right there doing magic. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Yo, We're all what the, the fuck? Team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Brew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. See? I understand. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Okay, now we're gonna have to check on... Uh... You know who I haven't talked to now that I realize? To Caden. Hey, Cuddy, Cuddy, get in, buddy, old pal. Anything you need, Commander? Ah, eh, fuck you. Tip, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk to Liara to see how she's holding up. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit Yes, Shepard, and she's old enough to be your, your messiah. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. 
It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Me? I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. Wow, what a talk about being a stalker. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You or the Picon? Because of my vision. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was... Is she here, Dami? Is she... Is she? I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Ah! <sighs> 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 Mm. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also enough to put him between us, Shepard. Uh, I'm just gonna friends on her. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. And just like that, goodbye.